In this lesson, we'll show you how to add your lights to a switch system and then add a switch. And we're going to do that from a floor plan because the light switches um, don't show up in the ceiling plan. Okay, we want to do that in a floor plan. Plus, we can't see our door openings, stuff like that. And the other thing to point out as we switch over to the lighting floor plan versus lighting ceiling plan is we'll see the lights, but the wires are annotative. They're only in this view. If we go here to floor plan level one lighting, we're going to see there's no wires here. Okay, so the wires are not model objects. If you want the wires in here, uh, in fact, you can copy and paste them if you wanted to. You could go into here. Let's say we wanted to move them to the other view. We just do a big window box, you know, in our little area over here. Maybe not too close to there. Let's just do something like this. Do a filter. Check none. Grab the wires. Hit OK. Do a copy on the clipboard. Go to our level one lighting plan. Zoom out. Paste to current view. And it's going to find all the lights. It's going to actually put the lighting in here. Um, not too bad. And interesting tab. Oh, it's got a narrow head there. It's just kind of a graphic anomaly that's taking place. So now let's add some um, some light switches in here. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a light switch, and we're going to use those occupancy sensor light switch. Whether it's a manual uh, switch or a sensor, it doesn't make any difference. So what we'll do is we'll add a light switch. So let's go to systems and we can go device, adding different device, but we can add a light switch here. Okay, we can pick different light switches that are loaded, single pole lighting switch, and we have this one here, the occupancy sensor. Click on there, hover over here, note that it's going in at about four feet and click on there and escape, escape. So we've added light switch. Now, this comes with kind of a little symbology, and I believe it only shows up if you're in medium or coarse detail. Let's click that and see. Aha, good enough. So there is our occupancy sensor light switch for that room. So let's create some more. Click on there, create similar. So let's go down to each room. Um, would we put one on each side? Sure, maybe. Not sure about that. I think the occupancy sensor is going to, oops, wrong side of the wall. Zoom in there, it's a little bit busy. There, I'll get rid of that extra one. One for this room. And that's it, escape, escape. Now what we want to do is create a switch system. So let's do a window box here. And let's filter out and grab only the lights, not the circuits. Okay, just the lights themselves. Then I'm going to see this come up. Switch. Create a switch system. Good. And now I can say select the switch. Pick on here. And now I can see that switch system. Okay, I can edit it by adding and removing. Disconnect. Select switch. And basically click out and I'm done. So if I hover, tab over that light switch, it's going to show me where those lights are propagating to. Let's do it again. Um, let's pick on the light and let's just, no, it's not going to let me. I thought I could. Let's click on this one guy and say switch. And then let's say edit switch system. Let's say add to system. This guy, this guy. I wonder if I just add the switch without saying, you know, just by selecting it. Oh, no, I have to say select switch. Click and finish. Escape, escape, hover, tab, there we go. Now I'm curious, this guy I need to delete. 
This guy is normal. This is the double. I wonder what'll happen. Let's pick on, let's pick these guys using my control button. So I'm using a kind of a different method each time. Don't pick the circuit though. Then you say switch. And then I say select the switch here. Select the switch here. Uh, it's only allowing me the one. Escape, escape. If I hover or tab over this guy, he's not connected. Tab, click. Beautiful. So one sensor, one switch, in this case, with the way it's built, per um, set of lights. So hover, tab, tab, click. Oh, didn't do it. Let's do it quickly. Grab these lights. Filter. Lighting, hit OK. Uh, lights, uh, no switch. Pick on here. There must be a switch system. No. And what I'm going to think I'm going to do is just tab over this. Watch what happens when you when you hover over something. When you tab once, read the status bar again. Tab, it says electrical circuit two. Again, again, and then it says switch system. Okay, if you keep tabbing through, it'll show you if there's a switch system in there. So I'm wondering if this has already got a switch system in no switch. Watch, tab, 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 aha, switch system, click. So there it does have a switch system. It doesn't have a, a switch. Select switch, pick on here. Now we have it. There you go. You see? Tab, 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 tab. Switch system. Good. So our lights have wires, um, and our lights have a switch system. I don't need this guy anymore. And I think I left one over here that we can um, do between the next lesson. So. That's our lights with our um, switches. Now we're going to come back, just add our sconce lighting to the outside wall and connect those up and make a circuit.